some people love Bill, some people love Winky, uh, some people don't mind what they're surfing. But uh, we saw Joanne Defoe earlier today. She she was stoked to move down, and that was uh, evident in her scoreline. Four north of seven-point rides in that heat. Massive moment for her. Looking forward to having a chat with her as we get out into the lineup now. Live action. We've got Brisa Hennessy taking on Lakey Peterson. Brisa looking sharp in the opening round of the event. Both the Hawaiian events, but an injury forced her out of the contest over in Portugal. And it's fantastic. She's been able to get back together after perforating her uh, eardrum. Like he's got to maintain pace. She's got to keep ahead of the field here. And here she goes. Good size set wave as she loads up for the first section. Nice little hit there. Getting a bit of drift. Getting back out in front of it now. She'll have room for another section here. Really transitioning beautifully and maintaining good down the line speed. Now able to draw out a nice cut back and gets a clean finish. And this looking like a solid ride for Peterson. Oh. And that's super shallow on that end section there. So you could see Lakey just paying attention to, to where she was actually going to just drop off her board there. Mm. Yeah, look at this. Bit wobbly off the start. And, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself when she took off, far out, this is a difficult wave to surf. Gets a nice up and over. Good glide. And then this little inside section starts to clean up. Similar sort of turn, you know, an up and over. And uh, then the big wrap. Steep face here. Pocket snap over the top into the low road and bang big finish Lakey Peterson six CT victories to her name Brisa Hennessy she's got one but uh, yeah Lakey's shown some some good form this year she was on a good run over in Portugal semi-finaling there and uh, yeah this is a, an amazing start for, for her in this heat. Good response too to Brees' 5, 6, 7. I think the judges having a look at this final move so hard when you, you get to the shallow end section for sure. So here we go Brees having a look at this one. Doesn't see a lot in it. Lakey holding on to the lead at the moment. Um, but yeah I think everyone's seeing it as just a huge huge opportunity um yeah, it's just an exciting time for women surfing because, like, you know, as we stick here with Lakey, Ron. Yeah, Lakey looking to, to back up the six and extend this lead. And, and Lakey always, you know, considers this uh, event the opportunity to compete in front of family and friends down here. Probably feels a bit of that kind of hometown pressure, but she's backed up the six-point ride pretty nicely here. But just on, uh, yeah, in response to that question again, showed you just how much people want to start winning these world titles and getting them for themselves because it was just a full-blown game-changing moment for women surfing. It sure was. Here's the replay of Lakey's ride. Tough one. Where do you see this one going? Nah, not really anywhere. It's uh, just one of those waves that just wouldn't provide anything of meaning. There's a couple of nice turns. I mean, you can see that there's... A vicious sting there from Lakey. Yeah, a bit of a, a, rin, a wind and uh, rain squall coming through and just kind of tearing this line up apart. Here we go. Here goes Breeson now, using that priority. After a 5.17, what can she do with this end section? Well, she can cloud it, drift that tail. Gets a bit of a, a slide in there, gets the completion, 5.17. Yeah. Here's uh, Brisa Hennessy, still has a number on the way. We're going to take a Bonsoi brew break back with more in just a moment. Eight minutes remaining here, some movement on the outside. And it is going to be Lakey up again, trying to improve on a 4.83. That way it doesn't do it. A bit of frustration there. Some challenges out there at the moment, Kives, with the weather. A really good heat IQ. Oh, definitely. And that competitive fire. She wants that big result here. Thank you, mate. As we see, Lakey up once again. Trying to get rid of this 4.83. The competitors are kind of grinding their way through these heats. But Lakey, with a little less room to move, got a, a bit more aggressive on each of those individual turns there. Unfortunately, wasn't able to finish that one off on. Really enjoyed that wave because you could see that Lakey was going, I just want to surf, man. Give me some sections. And uh, <laughs> she got to town on it. And here goes Breeza now. Oh, there's a nice hit from Breeza. Moves a bit of water. She always does, but she can't finish her wave off. So likely is going to fall short of 
getting herself up into the number one position here. Just over four minutes to go, and Molly Picklam's had some time to, to digest the result. Knocked out of the contest here in the round of 16 just moments ago. We'll get to her in just a moment. First up, Lakey's going to go on, on the hunt for a, a solid number to go with the six-point ride. Flowing at the moment. And there is a, a oh. really strong finish, and that'll probably do it. Improve the 4.83. Let's get to Molly Picklam. Bye-bye. Be lost in that event. No, it, no it's their fault. <laughs> it's all their fault. Yeah, yeah. You can't blame anyone else. But True. We had a, a bit of action here. Uh, we had a nice finishing turn from Lakey Peterson Vaughan to turn in her best number, a 6.73. But we also saw a falling out of the mix here. We still have another number on the way for Lakey. Did she do enough on her last wave to maybe get the lead back? But here's the replay of Brees' ride. Big hack there and then straight into this stand-up. Close out end wow. section, hammers it. It's been a real struggle off the bottom here, Ron. Lakey. Back to live action. We'll see the replay of Brees' wave in just a minute. Lakey Peterson is fighting to hang on to this lead here. We still have a number on the way for Brees'a. Straight away was positive. She was in celebration mode, and this was the response. This was like his shot at getting herself back into the lead. Nice turn there. Uh, but the wave just kind of didn't really ramp up enough for a big finishing turn. She's going to get herself into a third final series this season with a, a strong finishing turn. Far out. That was a, a huge end to that heat. Really never fired up. It was just kind of stop-start, and then right at the end there, big performance from Brisa Hennessy.